Hello everyone, welcome back to my another video. I am back with another interesting video which can I which I can assure you will be very useful, knowledgeable and insightful to you. So let me ask a question. How can you enter an IAM that is Indian Institute of Management? Yeah, it is a very obvious question. We have to clear cat common aptitude test, but it is not. Here is a twist. You can also enter an IAM using your GATE score. Yes, using your GATE score that is graduate aptitude test in engineering test, you can also enter the IAM. Many of you do not know about this. So in this video, I will tell you about how can you utilize your GATE score to enter into an IAM which is also very prestigious institute. So let me tell you about this in this video. So this video is all about the fellowship program in management. In short, it is usually called FPM program. It is uh, in short, it is like a PhD of management. Now earlier it is used to be called the FPM, but in many IMs now it has been changed to PhD. So uh, if you want to do a PhD and want to go for research, especially in the management field, then this FPM program is must is is for you so if you are looking for that opportunity then this video is really helpful for you because i also applied uh, uh, i also applied for this fpa program and i also got a call from i am bangalore even after having no experience i got the call so i will tell how you can use your gate score to get a call from a prestigious institute i am bangalore which is considered the top one of management institute. So I will also share my write-up, how I applied for it, uh, write-up research proposal, and how you need to apply for this fellowship program in management. I will discuss all this in video. So uh, uh, let me tell you about my experience. First of all, let me tell you about myself. I am Raju Abu. I am currently studying MS in Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras. Before uh, this MS, I uh, I graduated from NIT Raipur in electrical engineering with a gold medal. So when I was in my final year, I applied for this fellowship program in management, and luckily I got the call from IIM Bangalore. But unfortunately, I do not able to crack the interview because I do not prepare well, honestly. So, but I will tell you about my mistake, why I will not able to secure that fellowship. So this video will be in three parts. In the first video, I will tell you in brief about this fellowship program in management. In the second video, I will tell you about how to apply, when to apply, what is the last date, all about that process. And in the third part, I will share my write-up research proposal so you can uh, apply for this fellowship effectively. So let me tell you about that fellowship program in management, especially for IM Bangalore. The last date is, uh, I think, for uh, January or last December. So take care of the last date because uh, this FPM program application usually start early, early uh, usually in the month of the October, I think month of October or November. So maybe you have less time. So consider that, but I will make sure to make the video uh, by the end of this week, all three parts by the end of this week. So let me tell you about my experience. So let me tell you about my experience. So I do not have any experience. So I applied for this fellowship program management. I uploaded the research proposal, uh, research proposal, and then my write up. And you have to take the reference from your two faculties because any research application requires the reference from your previous faculties or teachers. So uh, uh, if I talk about the interview process, in the interview process, my interview process was uh, fully online, but I was not prepared uh, well for that time because my end sum was going on that time. But the question which were asked were quite trivial. I have applied for the decision size uh, area because I find it quite uh, related to my field, electrical engineering, not wholly, but partly it is related to my field. So I decided to apply for that field. Uh, let me tell you about that you can apply for maximum two area. I will tell you what are the areas in the next video. So you have to apply for that 
area and then decision sciences which is closely related to the data science field so you were asked um, i was asked about ml concepts basic mathematical concepts differential equation linear equation uh, integration and about my write up why i was uh, motivated to join this program like that uh, the interview was uh, about uh, half an hour uh, but uh, if you prepare uh, well because uh, if you prepare ml concept really well differential equation linear equation quadratic equation means if you really prepare well for the mathematical concept for the decision sizes then you can easily crack the interview and another thing is that for decision science you need to really prepare well for the statistics your statistic probability random variable uh, the all like uh, all these concept must be clear and you must be clear why you are uh, why you are motivated to join this program what are the your expectation of this program so if you are really able to give this answer uh, well then you, you have a really good chances of selection another thing uh, they will test about your communication skill you need uh, you need to be really fluent because the management field requires a good speaking skill fluency in speaking and a clear communication skill so you really need to take care of all this fact so uh, for this video uh, thank you for watching this video i will make another part 2 and part 3 as i have told earlier so if you have not subscribed yet kindly subscribe i will uh, get motivation from that uh, so thank you for supporting and subscribing uh, i will meet you in another video thank you for watching this video have a nice day